dice roll in my favor. We have very little spell slots left. Go on, Gale, get him dead. Nice. Have a Level ten. And, well, and is... lots of looting to do. Rusty daggers. Uh, right, where were we? Yeah, you can get a weapon from Divine Intervention. I saw that. Um. Healing is massively important when uh, when everybody has no hit points and use divine intervention to heal everyone to full hit points with all spells and everything. It, that, that that meant that I kicked Raphael's ass instead of him kicking mine. It was very funny and stressful. Yeah, I uh, I don't care about magic. I um I was never a fan of magic. Give me Aragorn over Gandalf. And I've only read three chapters of a Harry Potter book. I don't want to go and loot all that. Right, because of all this chatter, I'm gonna pop your wound things. I don't actually know what these are for, but they're going. Because I don't like them. I'm going to miss Eldritch Blast so much. Oh, this place is just endless. Oh, that gets us in there. Right, okay. So this is just where we were going. Cool. Other characters have magic. Like Gale. Gale has magic. The problem is, I don't want to use short rests. I don't want... Well, short rests are okay, but I don't want to be using magic, but I've had to. Hatched up. Pushing on. We had two. I thought we'd used one already. Um... Right, if radial looting was a thing, this would be amazing. And I'm not. I am just not. It's not worth it. Uh, I can get there. Whatever it takes. You still have all of your chat. Let's pop you out of that because you keep talking to me when you're actually in Alba. The city calls Let's out going. for salvation. Let's have a look. The chosen are my heart, and you, my many hands. I'd love a game like this, set in Middle Earth, where you can pick. You know, you have a party of whatever. But yeah. Full on RPG Middle Earth. Oh, the Cambian's still with us? Of many oh, you didn't Let heal. Guess. You need something. Actually, I'm healing you. I gave you those potions for a reason. You may as well burn them now. Alright, let's level up. What are we getting at level 10? I think we're going fighter. Five warlock, one sorcerer, five warlock. Yeah, we'd um Yeah, six fighter, so yeah, that's right. Um Well judging by that it's gonna have to be charisma and something. 
charisma and con gets me a plus in each. And then that just maximizes my damage capability with spells, melee, and a little bit extra health. I think. I don't care about wisdom or intelligence. With medium armor, we don't need more than that in decks. It'd be nice to have more in decks. I'm usually a dex player, but and we don't use strength for anything. Although we've got plus four on saving throws, so that's pretty nice. I'll take it. And then we get another attack. No, we don't. Oh, we might get another attack. Right, wizard. What's that? Third eye, dark vision, and seen visibility. They're quite nice. Cantrip. Poison spray. Why not? At level 11 I'll get a third Eldritch Blast as well, right? That's such a nice spell. Have that and have Dominate Person. For reasons. And we're going to take... This... I haven't used that at all. I'm probably not going to start now. Um... Humanoid. Old monster's always fun. And Will has old person, I think. Jahira gets a roll attacks unarmed attacks in Wild Strip, so she can make two additional attacks, that's cool. She can become a Dilophosaurus. And a Marmadon. Interesting. Um, take Resilience. Protection from energy. It doesn't do radiant. Okay. I'll take it. We can switch them out at any time, can't we? Yeah, let's... Go back to Warlock. You've got your four levels. That's not that good. Uh, hunger. We've seen hunger in action. Hunger's brutal. Haste's good. I've got a load of potions of speed, though. I'm going to go check that room first. No, I'm going to... Hmm, I don't, I don't want to go down there. Thief, Rogue, Cleric, Multiclass. 
Shafts, with the shaft spear, yeah, because you, you can do wield spears, can't you? It's here! I didn't realise it was here. Of course it's here. Whoa. I've left some brains back at camp as well and I can't go and get them. I feel glorious. It's just aid. This is Mold's eye patch. What's become of her? Oh, wait, 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 what now? We found Mole's eye patch. Blooded but intact. Maybe she's still somewhere in the mine flare colony. Right, we need to find Mole. Mole is now priority number one. Um, Balthazar. It's obvious division society. It cannot be denied that young Gortash has the mind of a scientist. Before his latest invention, the Eolithid Library was no more than a row of brains swimming in the cerebral slop. With his device, we no longer need sonic power to access the memories contained within, only to insert the subject and speak to it directly. Uh, I do wish he were not so eager in testing the device on more recent subjects of his own, however, nor in leaving their skull shavings scattered through my workbench. No, you should read this stuff out to me. I don't, I'm not reading it. I'm not reading it. Not design, but death. What have I picked up? Yeah, it's the vulnerable to uh, entity has advantage on physical checks and disadvantage on mental saving throws. Yeah, I don't love that. So I've picked up some mines. I've sent a load of them to camp. Because they're heavy. Because they're brain in the jar, obviously. But I, you're not going to let me go to camp, are you? If only I'd have known. <coughs> Pardon? Wouldn't do to phlegm all over Lord Gortas during my first performance, would it? Mm, acoustics are a little off in here. Which is where, exactly? I have all the brains back at camp. Because why would I carry them around with me? I thought it was Act 3 that, that we met this specific thing. Because it was Gortash stuff, but uh, never mind that. Tell me about this Lord Gortash. He heard me singing in Beggar's Rest. Said he needed someone to give voice to lost knowledge. A little over my head, being honest. But the Lord has gold. I trust he knows his business. Now, I best warm up. No need. I think you got the part. Truly. <gasps> and my ma said the singing would come to naught. Thank you, thank you! Great. There's four or five brains back at camp. Every so day annoying. He comes. Every day. Days to ask me how I feel. I want to tell, but I am confused. Which, which day is it? I really want to know what the brain says that you pick up from the nautiloid in the start. It's the third day. She whispers in my mind. She sings. Praise the absolute. 
Who's the he you're talking about? You're his pets. His plan. Lord Gortash. Gortash. Tell me about these others. Separate cells. I never saw them. But when they changed... My head! I can feel them in my head! Fuck. They should let you go, not to rest, but they should let you go back to camp to pick them up. really annoying. I'm not reading that. I'm too annoyed. Orin has a sibling. Oh, interesting. Uh, we'll meet Orin later. She's an absolute hoot. She's, uh, she's delightful. Wouldn't harm a fly. Oh, please tell me you can... Jump. Yeah, there's a lot of stuff down in the Illithid colony. Down. No, I just mean access to the chest. I don't necessarily have to go back to camp. I would just, it like... Just give me the option to use the other, like, just say they were, I don't know. It's just, it's annoying, but it's a little easter egg that, you know... The console oh, into life I hate this bit. Touches your own. Although I know how to do Alien it now. And full of desperate need, but fragmented too. It is incomplete. It yearns to connect, but needs you to guide the process. Linking each part of your mind to its like. Let's do it. No, that, no, no. That's better. Uh, right, what have we got? We have a brain there. Nothing else can go to that, no. That might cock that up. Because you, to go there... And then from there... You would have to go there... And I don't think they can share, can they? So, from... There. That one. So that. 
potentially that to that. Let's just do it. Oh, that's the wrong thing. Go back. I'm not happy with that either. I, it took me like 45 minutes to figure it out. The last time. It really pissed me off. Like, really pissed me off. You're not going to let me go there though, are you? No. Right, get rid of that. It's the fact that you've got to manually select things to get rid of them. Right, let's pull you back. You absolutely have to go there. So you have to go there then. And then from there. But then where do you go? You have a little extra. I don't fucking know. Shot. No, that's the other thing that really pisses me off. That it doesn't lock you in. So if you click outside, it moves you and breaks the whole thing. That's a flaw. The glows as you approach. The mind still desperately yearning for connect. Right, but we haven't lost anything. But it's just annoying. Right, that's two for two. Ma. Which are you? You're Ma. green, so you want to be over Stop. there. Welcome. That's three for three. Oh, yes. Now we're cut off from that. No, we're not. Because there's a line there, apparently. Should do it. Got it. Time to see what's back there. It, it's a cool little thing that's hidden, though. with loss. The grand design. Order. Perfection. Unity. Every plane. As one. Every being. In their place. That loss blooms into a sudden fury, burying claws in your mind. Taken. Just as suddenly, pain and memory are gone, leaving only stone once more. The grand design. The restoration of the Mind Flayer Empire. The dream of all Illithids. The Blade of Oppressed Souls. Sounds delightful. Another criticism that I have, and this is, it's not really a criticism at all, but another wish I would have liked is for swords to look a bit different. 
like that just looks the same as this, which looks the same as the finesse swords and minor nitpicks, very minor nitpicks. But yeah, there's so many items, there's so many ways of playing, there's so many people to talk to, that it's just, just, just loads. Absolute loads of things that they have done in this game. And when you think about, like, I bought this in early access. I picked up the brain, right? So I bought this in early access. And I feel like, just in early access, I had my money's worth. And then you get all of this extra. It's so good. You could stand there, though. Cheers, Peter. Thanks for dropping by. Enjoy the rest of your week. Hopefully we'll catch you soon. Got that. Let's go and do this. The final brain that we can do. After much frustration. Wait, was it willing? No, it was break... waking... Willing? Waking mind. Hmm. Fine bones, sharp jaw. Some variety of elf? Pretty enough for a flesh prison. If not the noble <laughs> Getsurai features I was born with. I'd guess you're no willing guest of the gate either. Perhaps we might aid one another. You called yourself Gizeri. That's some kind of Gith Yankee. Oh, for a set of hands to slap your face! The Yankee lost their way the moment Gith threw down the Gake Empire. Only we, Zarai, continue the war to end the Gake forever. Only we fight them on their own battlefield. The mind. You're remarkably sane for a pickled brain. A Gisurai's mind is not so easily cracked. Our discipline was the very reason we were attacked. My order taught a psionic technique much feared by the Gake. They destroyed us for it, and kept me as a trophy. I never broke, but I've spent all these centuries awake, aware. So here is my offer. Use your tadpole, erase me, and I will pass my technique on to you. You feel the oncoming void tug at the back of your mind and the edge of your soul. Your patron bids you caution before agreeing to this pact. The monk isn't telling you everything. If you want my help, then tell me the truth. All right. I... The gate did not find my monastery. I led them there. They promised me immortality, and they gave it. I have been their rotting trophy for centuries. As her agitation swells, so does her latent psionic power. To your tadpole, that guilt and terror are almost fragrant. You realize the Elithids locked her away not as a trophy, but as a fine vintage. Please, touch my mind and purge it. The moment you do, my knowledge will be yours. And it takes it away from them. But have they even been using it? Purge is removing her memories. Consume is... much darker. Purge her mind. I don't know. We're gonna purge. The awareness that floods you is nothing like the tadpole. It is tentative and tinged with the loneliness of eons. It fades beneath your touch, but you feel something left behind, a fragment. 
It is only knowledge yet, without comprehension. But when you use it, you will see. And I... The mind barrier. Having assimilated a splinter of the Githzari knowledge, mental barriers have been erected in the affected's mind. It has advantage on intelligence. Yeah, we need that. <laughs> Embarrassing. Right, because they're here and I can't do much with them. I'll just send them to camp. No, we don't want to keep brains in camp. Is that a chasm? No. There was a chasm somewhere. Yeah, they were they were both slave species, weren't they? But they went about different ways of fighting. I'm itching for a fight. I want to smack something with a sword. I think we're done. Oh, but Mole! Actually, where? I've never found Mole. Right, we need to find Mole. This is me just being. Uh, where's throw? Being angry with the brain situation. They're all going. Oh. Hey. Right. You know what? They're not going. They're just. They're going to stay there. I'm going to throw the final one on the floor. And we're going to walk away in disgust. We will take what do you mean I can't get there? Every soul made true. Oh, that was not good. We almost fell in the hole. Oh, God. Right, where's Moll? Oh, that's cool. That you actually get sent there. Uh, I mean, it's not cool, because I wouldn't want to be there. But, interesting. I didn't know that, and that might ruin it for me, but... It's good to know. Yeah, I... I know that you're further back, Pavel, but no more spoilers like that, because I am going to potentially... Well, I've got options. So, I'd rather not know stuff like that. General stuff, companion stuff, romance stuff, I'm not bothered about, but story stuff, siding with other things, um, I'd rather not have spoiled. But it's fascinating that there's so many different paths. It's cool. It's very cool how much thought they've put into this. Uh, there's still this little section here that we need to explore.
Oh, uh, mole. I'm worried about mole now. Oh, the brain. We could go see what the brain has on it. Very cool. A fresh mind. <sighs> Spells back, please. Thanks. It's nice that they put that in there. I know that you can't. Uh, we'll press that later. I know that you can't heal with camp, so it's nice that they've added that in. It's this room, isn't it? Yeah. Right, let's see what this brain says, and then we'll, uh, we will actually push on to Ketherick. And we'll have a little bit of a scrap with our good old friend, Mr. Simmons, and his amazing voice. Who's grunting? What's wrong with you all? The other question is, do we take that? I don't want to, because the psychic stuff might be a problem. Well, this is deeply unsettling. I don't know what that means. I had the dream again. The big spiky snail that came from the sky. I'm sleepy, mummy. You must stop waking me up. That is Amelia Tyler, isn't it? Doing that. That's her character in this. Meanwhile, I'm never going to sleep again. You should. We can talk in the morning. Night, night, mommy. Love you. Oh, God, no. Just no. I'm leaving. Yeah, Jason Isaacs is pretty solid. I can't... I can't complain with any of the voices in this, actually. This might be the best voiced game of all time. And that's me putting it... No, it's not. It's not the best voice game of all time. It's the second best voice game of all time. Because I, I cannot put it above ODST. Am I going the right way? Yeah. Right, there is nothing else. I don't know where Moll is. But I don't want to Google it. Oh, there's got to be a way to say... Where's Moll? But it says maybe she's still somewhere in the Mind Flayer colony. She must have found a way back out. Maybe she's somewhere else in the Mind Flayer colony. Don't know where she could be. And I don't know what this does. Okay, that makes sense. Ooh. 
something around here is going. She's not down here. This is, but this takes me to the next. She's not going to be down there at all. I need to know. Mike, do you know where Moll is? Yeah, Orin. I can't remember who she is, but Orin's voice actress is fantastic at doing Orin. Descend. Doesn't tell me anything. I don't think that she's here. Okay, fair enough. I've just, it was basically just an opinion piece on the quest. Um, but I don't think that she's here, and that sort of confirmed it. She's not actually here. Right, cool. Didn't think she was. Because I remember Moll. We're all healed up. We, it's go time. Instead of wasting time, it is go time. Yeah. Lazel's voice actress is very good as well. I'm guessing that all of these people have been characters in other Larian games. Of which I have just installed... What was it called? Divinity Original Sin. I've just installed the first one a couple of days ago. Right, let's go. Come on. Oh, the party better be on. Thank God for that. It's reacting to something down here. We should prepare to do the same. Gail, I hope you're ready. Oh, I'm so dead. Oh, these doors are just beautifully disgusting. Oh, Will's with us as well. Murmur, the presence in your mind That's going to be new. We've found it. The absolute is behind this door. Okay. What do you want me to do about it? You said it was under control. It isn't you I answer to, Gortash. Oh, the general voice. Is this where we salute? Salute, yes. With cleavers through his blood-starved flesh. How it crawls with failure. Like flies on lick-wet carrion. You forget yourself, Orin. I have played my part. You have built an army for our masters, true enough. But what of the astral prison? A rogue true soul, flaunting it under your nose all this time. 
and you ran from him. He did. Sure that they would follow and deliver it into my hands here. If you would cease these distractions. The distractions have been yours, Ketherick. Perhaps we never should have dug your daughter up. Ooh. <sighs> so you haven't lost your edge. But you're still not as sharp as Orin, I wager. Nice dagger. Slayer against the Undying One. That'd be fun to see. His crypt breath sings to my sinews again, 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 again. But he must lead the murder march to Baldur's grave. If the weapon is truly in your grasp, Ketherick, might I suggest closing your fist? Orin and I can wait for you no longer. The plan proceeds. We're going to the city and we expect you to follow. Army and the weapon in tow. The Edict of Bane. The Lash of Thor. Again, another cool scene. One of the cruelest and most powerful creatures in existence, enslaved by mere mortals. Look at that crown. It radiates with power unlike anything I've ever seen. To have it. To hold. Gale? Oh, if only I could. But I can't. This is it. I must do as Mistra commands. I'm not going to save it because we're picking whatever we go with. Gail, you can't do this. You can't condemn us to death. What choice do I have? More than just a goddess counts with my courage. Whole worlds hang in the balance. I have a bad feeling about this. You're right. We truly have no choice. This is it then. The end of ends. One last gust of weave. One last gale to end them all. No! Oh, we might want to move. That got him. Did it get them? Beneath the smoking ashes of Moonrise Towers, the Elder Brain lies destroyed. But what of the tadpoles it commanded? Freed of the Absolute's control, they will complete their transformations. A plague oh. of illithids will soon descend on the Sword Coast, enslaving oh. all they do not infect. It is an ending of sorts, though not the one Destiny had in store for you. So they even tell you to reload. That's a nice touch that they've added that. Um, I said we were going for it. We've damned the Sword Coast to misery. Like 
I do love the, the music in this, the credits. Uh, that is, I guess, the story. Gale ended it and doomed the world. Oh, Gale's fault. Thank you.